PM rep has changed a lot since my last visit about 10 years back. More modern construction, more tourists. 10 years back I had to live just on wine and bread for dinner, nothing else. Until a German chef took sympathy, made rice with some vegetables. But today, I am able to get a thali with no garlic and a nice glass of wine. This National Museum was not there during my last visit. Now it's here. I am ready to go. I mean, say I'm rough. In 10 years, things have changed enormously and became it has become more commercialized, hey. including Tati Nongu, just at the entrance of the Ankara Temple. Avale Krishna Puja is going on. Asta Puja deity is Avale Krishna. Buddhism and the items are very for Nevedya in addition to the pig. Nevedya includes grains, panta, fruits, believe it or not, cigarettes. Now the air balloons have come. One can go up to see a bird's eye view of this. I never gone on this stuff before for 15 bucks. I can get a better picture of the anchor wart and the sam complex. This is a control panel of instruments. It's a way to stand around this hot air balloon which is anchored in the middle and tied up with steel wires. Actually this is wired, must be the helium that's controlling, not a real hot air. Anchor watt complex, an aerial view. One can see from the entrance and then outer water which was considered to be from the Samudra Madana, the temple being inside as it was a Vishnu temple to start with. One can see the complex better in this angle, an aerial view from the hot air balloon, actually it's a helium balloon. According to pilot, we are about 150, 120 meters high. At the horizon is a lake, huge lake. The kings made sure there was adequate water supply for the inhabitants. This is the hillock that is referred to as considered similar to Mount Kailash. The shadow is that of the helium balloon. Low Lai Yaluyaliyai was built by Indra Varman in 1893 in memory of his father Yashodara Varman. This has got a four towers and the idea was to be the part of the capital, Indra, Tataka, and all this description are present in Sanskrit. It was a practice among the Cambodian kings to build things in memory of their ancestors and often considered as a Devaraja, meaning that the king was both God and a king, and subsequently 
they often felt that their ancestor or the immediate father or so was in the form of a Vishnu or Shiva. On the side, these Cambodian kids are learning to sell and often speak several languages. It appears that the education they get selling this stock to tourists is better than what they can get at the school. Apparently, the education system is poor. This is the ruins that are seen. There's a considerable deterioration. Once again, the architecture and lentil is in the form of other scene in the Cambodian ancient construction. The god sitting on the elephant is Indra. On the wall are inscriptions describing what it was. In one of these four towers with reinforcement to prevent its fall, with the back wall half of it fallen, the main deity appears to be Linga as the base or the yoni is seen. The difference between a base for a vigraha and a yoni is this outlet, this piece. This little boy is a victim of all the changes that has taken place in this marvelous ancient huge civilization in Southeast Asia at once upon a time. Another view of the ruins from the back. Another view of the ruins. Within this complex are these monks who permitted me to photograph them. They got curious of the photo I took. They are all watching that. Ank <laughs> invited me to see his school. He wanted to chat with me in English and he mentioned that monks can smoke, drink Coca-Cola, tea, eat fish, chicken, pork, beef, but not snake or dog. They eat twice a day, they are allowed to smoke, but no marriage unless they leave monkhood. The school is called Role Friendship School. It is their kitchen. Another view of the school, the upper part, they sit and talk or relax and study. This is the home of the monks. In this building also, the classes are held, even the non-monks are allowed and they teach children. This monk is a student. The other side, people are sitting and chatting. These are their other facilities. Drum is used and beaten. Name is Jan, Y-A-N, and invited me to visit his home.
inside the spacious, well aerated, there is the Buddha statue. This is where the cooking for the monks are held, another part of the school. Monks are the teachers. This is the source of water. Water is carried. Of course, the Nevedia and the Prasadam includes, unfortunately, cigarettes, in addition to agarbati and candles. Came ten dollars and strong blessed me. Another view of the ruins. Bako was built by Javarman II in 879 AD in honor of Pritko, the sacred bull or Nandi, the mount of Maheshwara or Shiva, as Jayavarman II was a Sh Shivite believer. As usual, one can see these ruins as they turn almost 360 degrees standing under a tree of this huge complex in ruins. These are some of the pieces lying. This base is a base for a deity and not part of uh, Shivalinga, that is the Yoni, as there is no one side opening. Finally, I did find a Shivalinga, but this uh, top may not be the original part because it just does not fit right and does not have the like, square base, then the eight angles followed by rounded. Somebody has artificially put it in. With this type of uh, deterioration, efforts are on the way for renovation, as all these are part of UNESCO World Heritage, rightfully so. In front of these three temples, which are not yet visited, are three Nandis which should mean all the three are Shiva temples because of the Nandi always is present outside, never under the Linga. Here is the broken Shiva Linga. Many parts are still missing. There is also lions present. This one, again not the original, the original is missing, fits into the concept of Linga and Yoni. On the side, these are all the real doors, a pseudo door of the stone, just to give an outside appearance, but inside it's a solid brick wall. Finally, appears to be Ganesh. In this temple, the original base of Linga or Yoni is seen better. These are some of the outer compound or the fort wall. That appears to be a entrance door from the back. Once again from Shiva Purana, Ganesha was not a biological son of Shiva and Parvati. Skanda was and yet Ganesha is enjoying all the privileges in both temples of India and here and Kanda is totally neglected. I don't know how he tolerated that. Evidence of restoration in progress. This is a Dwarapalaka on the side. In front is usually Apsaras. Better appearance of Nandi. Nandi always have a necklace. This is real Bako a pyramid-shaped temple built
in 18, correction, 881 AD as a tribune to Indravarman cult. This was the first pyramid shaped temple with a Naga being at the entrance. There were 22 sanctuaries and the, even the main sanctuary is all damaged. When I visited with Shaila in uh, 1990s, unable to visit these outside places because of the fear of landmines as locals warned us not to go to too far off places. Now it is safe, here I am. All of these temples have an exterior wall and also surrounded by water as water is an essential and also possibly kept the area cool being fully surrounded and some pieces are still lying in the ground. At the entrance is a tower in the tree. The special person would have climbed this tree on the way to the temple. This Naga is better preserved and also one can see the finite work. Nagas are always with an odd number of heads, 1, 3, 5 or 7. The bird's eye view of the ruins. One can see this magnificent appearance. This base in front of the temple is most likely the base for Nandi as in nowhere in the Cambodian temples I saw Dwajastamba or Balipita like the temples in India. It may mean that early Cambodian kings did not perform any Bali and even the Buddhist temple as they saw a pig it was already uh, baked so it was not cutting the head off in front of the deity. Way to the stores. These steps may not be appreciated by the very special person but they are almost 14 to 15 inches high. As I go closer it looks more magnificent. The shape is rectangular, pyramid-like, with an elephant. View of the ruins at about the mid-level with a lion, elephant. The shape is rectangular and uh, pyramidal appearance. The main one is all stone on the side are the brick constructions. Ones, stone ones are very simple whereas on the brick one can see artwork on stucco. Once I reach the top then I see the apsaras lion and decoration even at the base. View from the top shows there were several other smaller temples, thus adding to 22 in total. More clear evidence of the side pseudo door. From the top I can figure out this is Vishnu in the Seshashayana pasture. Could be that this was a Vishnu temple. I would not expect this in a Shiva temple. Even though I could not rule out the Nandi in front, thus unless it is Arihara. The temples in the back, once again multiple. The pieces appears to be put together. Here I am seeing a monkey looks like an Anjanaya, again scenes from Ramayana. With all the glory 
and Hindu religion of the past, today the local people as their Buddhist, they put a modern Buddha deity to worship. As the ninth avatar of Dashavatara is made into Buddha, it clearly shows that this Dashavatara business is totally artificial as in Puri they put Puri Jagannath in place of Buddha as a ninth avatar. Thus these are not true facts but a man-made thing that changed from time to time. This whole structure seemed to have been put together later as I see a lot of small pieces assembled. Does not fit into original one. This nine-year-old girl goes to school on the bike, has a Barbie backpack. She is supported by this mother who sells coke. That's amazing how this lady is able to sell coke to the tourists and support this girl who goes to the school. There she goes. Pante Street is about 37 kilometers away from Siam uh, Rap. I'm unsure when it is built. At least I know this is Indra because she is seated on Airavati, which is a three headed elephant. The workmanship is well preserved. I also see a Naga here as well as these columns. As I enter, one can see the beauty of this place. Vacation is around the beautiful trees and I took a tuk-tuk to come to this place. Total distance covered is about 100 kilometers and I will be paying 25 US dollars for the whole day for the driver to bring me here with a gasoline price of about 75 cents a litre. Columns are very well preserved. One of the side entrances, a lot of roofs must have been gone in these ruins. This uh, one I'm unable to identify, they seem to be a mirror image. Could be a Narasimha, but I'm unsure. The doorways are nice and clear, but about five foot tall, as one has to bend their head before entering. In this doorway arch, I'm able to see Nandi, and it has got to be Shiva, even though the head of uh, Uma or Parvati is gone. It cannot be any other deity. Because there is Linga, it is a Shiva temple. Naturally surrounding the temple is the water and then the compound wall. Now there is a Devi with two elephants. This would mean that she is Lakshmi. Hinduism it is often referred as a Gaja Lakshmi. This base with the water lover could have been a Shiva and Parvati deities. Doubt confirmed this is Nandi, so it has got to be Shiva temple.
On the side there are more smaller temples with these monkeys, it's also Rama. But I am finding the absence of Ganesh unless it's removed from one of these uh, smaller side temples. The whole complex is very beautiful, reminds me of Mahabalipuram, this particular view. I am able to see Rama and Sita. Next, I am seeing Ravana. The head is represented in the Cambodian uh, artist, head one over the other rather than horizontally. Then I am also seeing uh, Harumanta Vali or Sugriva. So these are all the Ramana scenery. One can see more clearly the beauty of this smaller piece. The whole complex, even though small, is just unbelievably well done. From the side one can also see the false door and the intricate workmanship. Another beautiful view. The art in the back of the temple also is highly refined and well preserved. This Ananya seem to have a more recent creation. They don't just fit in with the deterioration of the past. It is an irony that UNESCO permitted this nonsense. It would have looked better without these creations. Looks like, like a scene from Ramayana <coughs> as Bo always the representative of uh, Rama. Another view of this beautiful structure. This is my uh, ticket. This is how I am traveling.